Making a film is never easy, and it's especially not easy when you're filming it during quarantine. When I was writing Covert Message, I basically thought of a sketch writing structure. What am I making fun of, or what's the joke, and how do I escalate it until it can't go any further? So when Xenia said that she wanted to make this movie, and after reading the script, I thought of this one shot with the glass hitting the floor. So we used the silicone glass, which I used on an old production, I just happened to have extra. To get the cinematic look, we fogged up the entire place. Prior to using the smoke machine, we of course had to tape all three of our fire alarms because they just kept going off again, again, again. We shot this on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, which honestly is a pretty badass camera if you ask me. It shoots in 4K Blackmagic RAW, which gives you a lot more latitude and leeway in post so you can change the colors to your desired effect. We also do not own any anamorphic lenses, so all of the lens flares you see were added in post. Take this one shot where we dolly around, passing the fan. Normally you'd shoot that on a dolly or some sort of gimbal, but we didn't have a dolly, so what we did was put the tripod on a tote bag. I'm actually surprised how it turned out. It actually looks really cool. For lighting, we used the softbox light, as well as these hot lamps, which we put on a dimmer. For the visual effects, it was actually pretty simple. All we did was just simple camera tracking and compositing, nothing too crazy. For the explosion shot, I actually just had to sit really still while Nick shined the flashlight over my face. The second day of filming took place outside in our parking lot. We sprayed the car with water to create some texture. For the interior of the car, we just used my laptop with a green image on it. The most fun part of filming outside was, of course, directing Nick. I think his reactions are priceless. I had so much fun editing them later on. <laughs> For the hacker screen, we actually went to this website that Nick found called hackertyper.net. Check it out! You can become a hacker too. All in all, this shoot was really fun and we've learned a lot, got to play a lot and experiment a lot, as well as try and be better storytellers. Yeah.